an 18-kilometer underwater tunnel will soon connect Germany and Denmark. It should be mentioned that when it is finished, in 2029, the Femorn Belt Tunnel will be the longest combined rail and road tunnel ever built. The Femorn Belt Fix Link, as the tunnel is formally known, will include two double-lane highways and two electrified rail tracks. In today's video, we will be showing you Germany's $10 billion underwater tunnel to Denmark. Without further ado, let's begin. The tunnel officially called the Femorn Belt Fix Link will have two double-A motorways and two electrified rail tracks. The journey through it will take 7 minutes by train and 10 minutes by car, avoiding a 160-kilometer detour across the Danish mainland. Rail travel times from Hamburg in Germany to Copenhagen in Denmark will be cut from around 5 hours to less than 3. A road link will replace an incredibly busy ferry service that carries millions of passengers a year, slashing travel times by almost an hour. Denmark is also planning to build high-speed electric rail lines to and from the tunnel. And train services will continue on past the Danish border to Sweden, Norway, and Finland. The tunnel will ultimately cost 10 billion euros, of which 1.1 billion euros will come from the European Union. This 10 billion euros project will link Puttgarden in northern Germany to Ridbyhavn on the Danish island of Lolland across the Femarn Belt in the Baltic Sea. Today, millions of people use a very crowded ferry service that will be replaced with a road link, cutting travel times by over an hour. By passing it, one can go through Denmark in 7 rail minutes and 10 minutes by vehicle, while avoiding a 160-kilometer detour. It will take less than 3 hours to travel by train from Hamburg, Germany, to Copenhagen, Denmark, as opposed to the current 5-plus hours. Additionally, Denmark intends to construct high-speed electric rail lines to and from the tunnel. Rail service will continue to Sweden, Norway, and Finland after crossing the Danish border. Tunnel construction is not a novel concept. Construction started in 2020 on the Danish side after 10 years of planning, and in 2021 on the German side. It will be constructed from 89 massive concrete sections 40 meters below the Baltic Sea. A crane will be used to lower these into the water after their construction on the land. The project's state-owned Danish contractor, Femern AS, anticipates completing the first of these sections by 2024. The concrete sections will be assembled once they are in position, and additional components like railway tracks, ventilation and cameras will be then installed. The effect of the tunnel on animals in the Femarn Belt, a protected region by the EU, has been questioned by several environmental organizations. However, the tunnel will increase capacity and relieve congestion on the rail and road networks in Denmark, according to Firmin AS. Additionally, the company asserts that substantial time, energy, fuel, and CO2 emission savings will result from it. After more than a decade of planning, construction started on the Femarn Belt Tunnel in 2020, and in the months since a temporary harbor has been completed on the Danish side. It will host the factory that will soon build the 89 massive concrete sections that will make up the tunnel. The expectation is that the first production line will be ready around the end of the year, or the beginning of next year, said Henrik Vincentsen, CEO of Femern AS, the state-owned Danish company in charge of the project. By the beginning of 2024, we have to be ready to immerse the first tunnel element. The tunnel, which will be 18 kilometers, 11.1 miles long, is one of Europe's largest infrastructure projects, with a construction budget of over 7 billion euros, 7.1 billion dollars. It will be built across the Femorn Belt, a strait between the German island of Femorn and the Danish island of Lolland, and is designed as an alternative to the current ferry service from Rodby and Puttgarden which carries millions of passengers every year. Where the crossing now takes 45 minutes by ferry, it will take just 7 minutes by train and 10 minutes by car. The tunnel, whose official name is Femarn Belt Fix Link, will also be the longest combined road and rail tunnel anywhere in the world. It will comprise two double-lane motorways separated by a service passageway and two electrified rail tracks. Today, if you were to take a train trip from Copenhagen to Hamburg, it would take you around four and a half hours, says Jens Old Kasseland, 
technical director at Femerne S, the state-owned Danish company in charge of the project. When the tunnel will be completed, the same journey will take two and a half hours. Today, a lot of people fly between the two cities, but in the future, it will be better to just take the train, he adds. The same trip by car will be around an hour faster than today, taking into account the time saved by not lining up for the ferry. The idea of connecting Germany with Denmark with a tunnel is not new. After 10 years of planning, construction began in 2020 on the Danish side and then in 2021 on the German side. The tunnel will cost 10 billion euros in total, with the European Union contributing 1.1 billion euros towards the project. It will be put together 40 meters below the Baltic Sea using 89 massive concrete sections. These will be pre-built on land and then lowered into the water using a crane. Femrene S, the state-owned Danish company in charge of the project, hopes that it will be ready to immerse the first of these sections by 2024. A visualization of the immersion and connection of tunnel elements. Femrene S, once they are in place, the concrete sections will be fitted together and other elements like railway tracks, ventilation, and cameras will be installed. Some environmental groups have questioned the impact of the tunnel on wildlife in the Femarndal, an EU-protected area. But Fermern AS says that the tunnel will increase capacity and relieve congestion on the rail and road networks in Denmark. The company also claims it will lead to significant savings in time, energy, fuel, and CO2 emissions. The tunnel will be built through the Femarn Belt, the strait between the German island of Femarn and the Danish island of Lolland. It is designed as an alternative to the current ferry service between Rabi and Puttgarden, which carries millions of passengers each year. The crossing now takes 45 minutes by ferry, while it would take just 7 minutes by train and 10 minutes by car. Denmark and Germany are building the longest immersed tunnel the tunnel, whose official name is Femarnbel Fix Link, will also be the longest combined road and rail tunnel in the world. It will consist of two two-lane highways, separated by a service passage, and two electrified railway tracks. The project was planned for more than 10 years, and only in 2020 the construction of the Femarnbel Tunnel began. This comes months after the completion of the temporary harbor on the Danish side, which will house the factory that will soon build the 89 massive concrete sections that will make up the tunnel. So guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I will see you in the next video.